another taboo has fallen. The taboo that the European Union was not uh, providing arms in a war. Yes, we are doing. Because this war requires our engagement in order to support the Ukrainian army. Because we live in unprecedented times, like you did when the pandemic came. We are facing the best on the war, as the biblical times. And this will not finish here. It is the first time in our history that the European Union will provide lethal equipment to a third country. And I have also instructed my team and the European Union military staff to set up a mechanism to coordinate the request of the Ukrainian army so that we can respond in the most effective way together with the member states to their needs that Minister Kuleva has explained us today. Today we will provide the political endorsement also of the European Union 27 member states to the overall package of measures outlined by President von der Leyen that will pave the way for the swift adoption of all necessary acts. As just explained by Madam President, we will discuss with the Foreign Minister's announcement of uh, tough economic sanctions. SWIFT, the central bank, I will also put forward additional listings against oligarchs. We'll target the elite of the Putin regime who benefit financially from the system. We will also reinforce our measures against Belarus, who have been facilitating the Russian assault against Ukraine. With these measures, more than half of the Central Bank Reserve of Russia will be blocked. 